Hello guys, in this video, I'm just going to explain how to get this PSN account ID in order to remote play in Chiaki app. For example, if you are using Chiaki to Windows PC or NetSwitch or mobile, you need this PSN account ID. So I'm going to show you the easy way to get your PSN account ID. Turn on your console, whether you are using PS5 or PS4 and both should be connected in the same Wi-Fi and then tap this. I mean, automatically it will be detected. If it is not detected, just click on this plus button your console will be displayed. So mine is directed because I have connected in same Wi-Fi connections. So I'm going to tap this. So this is the host. If you check on PS5 console, this will be the host. And uh, here it should be PS5. But in this video, we are going to find this PSN account ID. It's 8 bytes and base 64. So already they have given the documentation, but it's very difficult, but I'm going to show the easiest way. So we need to enter the pin as well. So if you go to PS5 console, you can check that on system and the system console information here you can see this ipv4 address it's a host okay fine i'm going back both are same and then we need to connect to remote play so we have the remote play options we need to turn it on and before we link our device right go to playstation.com and log in with your account you need to remove two-factor authentication so if you have added two-factor authentication second step verifications to your uh, PSN account you need to that you need to remove it so go to account settings here come to security just temporarily remove it okay once you have connected to Chiaki again you can add second step verifications so now I'm going to disable this so I need to click on edit and here I need to provide the password continue so I'm going to click on this deactivate are you sure you want to deactivate second step verifications? Yes. Second step verification has been deactivated. Super cool. Once successfully done, right? Just log out or uh, even right, you can open incognito mode on your browser. So here you need to go to this URL. I will be providing this link in the descriptions, trinket.io and some Python code. So just hit on enter. So just read these instructions, open the following URL in your browser and log in. So I need to copy this, copying it, right click, copy, and I'm going to paste it here. So it will be asking you to enter the user ID and password. So I need to enter it, sign in. So we got the message redirect. Here you can see this after logging in when the page shows redirect copy the URL from the address bar and paste it here. So I need to copy this URL right click copy and go to trinket here we need to paste it okay control V and hit enter. Super cool. So you'll be getting your online ID, PSN online ID and the user ID, user UUID and this is your account ID. See, this is your account ID. So this one we can copy. So here we need to enter this PSN account ID, 8 bytes, base 64. So this is my PSN account ID. And next thing I need to enter this pin. So for that right, you need to go to link device. In this pin, we have to enter this eight digit number. Then click on register. Super cool, it's successfully registered. See, you can see this here, registered successful. So now going back, before it was unregistered, now it is registered. So I'm going to tap on this. Super cool. Now remote play is working perfectly. So even I can use my mobile. If you want to add your controller, you can add to mobile and you can use your controller. So that's it friends. This is the way you can get the PSN account ID, base 64 and 8 byte. Do not forget, you need to remove the second step verification. Then only you will be receiving your account ID. So that's it friends. Hope this video is very much helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please put a comments and feedback. So, video forms. Thank you. Bye and take care.